Hey Calvary, I'm Pastor Sean and I have the honor of doing today's word for the day. Today's proverb is out of chapter 3 verses 5 through 6. Let's read the verse and then we'll jump right into it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. I love this verse because it's just a straightforward command with a straightforward outcome. Trust in the Lord fully and not yourself. And when you do, he will make things more clear in life. Every day of our lives, we make choices and decisions that will either be from our own twisted understanding of the world, or, or we can try to see the world through God's eyes and make, make decisions based on spiritual and biblical guidance. I know, always easier said than done, but when it comes down to it and when you actually practice this, it's one of those things where you'll see almost an immediate change in, in attitude, expectation, and outcome of certain situations. It's hard to be all in with anything nowadays, but this passage isn't calling us to be wishy-washy or have wishy-washy behavior. Why would God want you to be in a relationship half-heartedly? Why would anyone want to be in a relationship half-heartedly? Again, a clear command with a clear outcome. And the beautiful part of Christianity and leaning on God's understanding and not our own twisted understanding means that not every situation in our life is going to be a benefit to us, not just to us, at least. And here's what I mean. I think when we trust God to get us through things in this life, it does benefit us, but I think it benefits the people around us more. And I want you to think about it in regards to this verse. You're on the road, someone cuts you off. There are two things you can do about it. You can lean on your own understanding, get angry, and allow the path of anger to unfurl in front of you. Or you can trust God that loving this person and praying for that person who just cut you off will lead to a better, more life-giving outcome for the both of you. How do you love those people? I don't know. But it definitely isn't by getting angry at them. And that's a very specific situation, I know. But honestly, like I said earlier, every day of our lives, we have opportunities and moments with just those two paths, just two, where we either choose to lean on our understanding or we pray to the Spirit and lean on God's wisdom, truth, grace, and love. The truth that tells us to love even our enemies and the wisdom that tells us to give grace to all because we were given grace first. This is world-shattering behavior, but in a good way. Now, verse six says this, in all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. I mentioned this in a previous word for the day, but do you know the difference between walking on a straight path or a curved path? You see, a straight path allows you to see where you're going in life. It allows you to see what's in front of you, good, bad, or ugly. And when we lean on God's understanding, it allows us to have a clearer picture of what's to come in our lives. And it's not like a fortune teller, but more like you're given a clear and life-giving objective. Meaning it won't matter what twist and turn life thinks it's throwing at you, your path, or rather your response, is rooted in God, His Spirit, and His Word. And that might, not, that might not always be the outcome we want, right? It is easier to get angry, or be greedy, or get jealous, or get offended. But submitting all of your ways to God definitely, definitely leads to that better outcome. And when Jesus was on this earth and closely leaning into God's wisdom, the path that, that he was on was clear and in front of him. And it was one of immense suffering. But that suffering was purposeful. And it ended up being the most life-giving thing to ever happen on earth. When we lean into God's understanding, we are drawn to suffer for those around us. And sometimes that suffering comes from not being angry, not allowing our pride or ego to control us. Not saying that rude comment, giving up on a moment of your precious time, or even lending out some of your precious resources, which honestly seems like the opposite way most of us run our lives. I guess living for God means we stop living for just ourselves and consider those around us more and more. Anyways, I love you, Calvary. I hope your day is full of opportunities to trust God and lean into Him. And in Jesus' name, I hope you're successful in that. We'll talk to you later.